Hey there, it's Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch what we do. We're not heading up to Kroger. You know that, right, honey? Yeah, it's uh, we've got weather coming in, and also the stores are really, really packed right now. Well, the thing is, is we're under a winter storm warning starting tomorrow through Saturday. Uh, just west of here, they're expecting it to be a, what do they call it, a bomb cyclone. Uh, and blizzard warnings are in effect uh, up towards the lakeshore. Um, we're under a winter storm warning. We're going to have high winds. We're going to have snow. And as you know, whenever there's a snowstorm coming into the Midwest, the stores get packed. And you drove by Kroger, and you said it was just unreal. Yeah, there was an accident outside our Kroger, and also the lines were really, really long, and the parking lot is packed. So we decided to not go up tonight. Um, I'll go up in the morning and grab milk and bread, just like everybody else is trying to do tonight. Uh, hopefully it won't be as packed tomorrow. Before we get into the video of the sale items this week, though, at Kroger, I want to get into a couple of things. First of all, if you've not hit the subscribe button below, please do so. Also get that bell notification button below. That'll notify you when we put up future videos. And there may not be enough, a lot of them this weekend because of the snow. Uh, but also hit the like button because that'll help us out immensely. Other thing I want to mention before we get into the deals is the hours of Kroger. Kroger is going to close Christmas Eve and be closed all day Christmas Day. I think they're closing at 6 Christmas Eve with the pharmacy closing at 5, and all Kroger stores across the country are going to be closed on Christmas Day. Am I correct? That is what they're saying, but please check with your local Kroger just to make sure they're hours. Yeah, I think it's uh, 6 p.m. local time. The store itself will close 5 p.m. local time. The uh, pharmacy will close, and then it'll reopen uh, uh, on the 26th. Let's talk about some digital deals, though, this week at Kroger. And right off the top, I mean, we've been talking about New Year's resolutions and people wanting to make a new, new Year's resolution about getting healthy and losing weight. Right at the very top, salad mix. Dole or uh, Taylor Farms salad kits for two eighty eight. dollars They've got, uh, what is it, Sunflower Crunch and Caesar salad. We love Caesar salad, by the way. Right, we do. So Caesar salad mix, uh, chopped kit. You've also got the chopped kit for Sunflower Crunch and some other varieties as well, Two eighty eight dollars each for those. But if you're not on a diet, there is cheesecake. I saw that right below that. Uh, cheesecake, the uh, the um, uh, private selection cheesecake, $13.99. We've gotten this before. I'm not a big fan of cheesecake. But uh, you and our kids are. Um, and whenever cheesecake comes in the house, it doesn't last very long, right? Well, I like this cheesecake because it has different flavors mm -hmm. and different slices. So you just don't have one flavor. I tend to like the turtle cheesecake. I know some other people in my house likes the plain and some people like the raspberry. So it's a basically great for parties. Great for parties are great if you've got multiple people in your house that like different kinds of cheesecake. And so, you know, this does freeze. We have froze the cheesecake before and just take out the individual slices so you can, you can eat them in the future. Yeah, what you can do, actually, if you want, is just wrap them up individually and put them in the freezer. That works out well, too. Uh, as always, it looks like lately anyway, Doritos is a digital deal. Doritos party-sized tortilla chips, two ninety nine dollars each. Wasn't that a digital deal last week? I was not sure. I thought it was a Lay's was a... It might have been the Lazy. Yeah, I know that one of the chips was a digital deal last week, but it's the Doritos, the party size. Again, I always say, check your sizes. Make sure you're getting the right one. Two ninety nine each for the Doritos uh, party size uh, tortilla chips. They've got Pearl Milling Company, uh, both syrup and waffle mix, the pancake and waffle mix. That's the old Aunt Jemima uh, pancake and waffle mix along with syrup, $1.99 each. That's actually a really good price for that, to be honest. We haven't done pancakes. Why don't do pancakes for Christmas morning? We could. Or do you want to do Mickey waffles? Either one. We have a Mickey waffle maker. I could make Mickey waffles Christmas morning. That was a great idea. You like that? Maybe I'll even show pictures of it on Instagram. Um, toilet paper is a digital deal right now. Sorry for breathing on that and blowing it up a little bit. Uh, Scott's uh, Comfort Plus bath tissue, four ninety nine for, what is it, the 24 roll? Oh, no, it the equals 24 rolls. 12 double rolls. 12 double rolls equals 24 rolls, which actually equals like, uh, not a lot. Uh, we wow. actually tried to figure out what a single roll size mm -hmm. actually is of toilet paper. I've never really figured it out. And they also have candles on sale. I have a new candle that I was given uh, by my uh, by my uh, son's girlfriend. Um, it was a candle. I don't know what it smells like, but it says on it, smells like a giant's touchdown. I have not smelled it yet. So I have no idea what it really smells like. But the label says smells like a giant's touchdown. Uh, candlelight jar candles, three ninety nine dollars each. Uh, I love burning candles in the window uh, in the winter, by, by the way. There you go, honey. There's your potatoes. $0.99. Cents. 
Idaho potatoes, the russet potatoes, 90 cents. That's a five pound bag, right? Right, that's a five pound bag. This was the same as last week, so you know. This was on sale last week also. Okay. Um, if you want cheese, they've got cheese for sale. The uh, Kroger cheeses are for sale. Are these the uh, sliced cheese this time, or is it select varieties? Well, it is sliced, bar, and shredded. Okay, so select varieties. $1.79 each for those for Kroger cheeses. If you need cheese, stock up there. Six to eight ounces. That's to clarify the size. Okay, and we we like Kroger cheese. We do stock up on Kroger cheese when it gets a digital deal like this. Um, I won't do it for the big bags. Again, I've made that mistake once before. Um Folgers Coffee, six ninety nine. This is for the smaller can than you're going to find in the uh, um, uh, warehouse stores like Kroger or um, not Kroger, but uh, Costco or Sam's Club. Uh, six ninety nine for that. How many ounces is that, honey? Twenty two point six to twenty five point nine ounce cans. Different varieties of the Folgers Coffee is special. They have uh, water for sale. It's the Lacroix sparkling water. I think that's an eight pack, isn't it? Eight pack, twelve ounces. Yes. Okay, uh, two seventy nine each for that. Uh, if you like the LaCroix sparkling water, that's a pretty decent deal. Um, they have a Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches. This we talked about last time. It was a digital deal of stocking up on these. We have not done that yet. We might do it this time. They also have Eggo waffles mm -hmm. as part of that digital deal, $4.99 each. Again, make sure you check your sizes. Make sure you're getting the right one for the digital deal. It's a 24-count Lego waffles, which is actually the larger one. Lego my Eggo. Yes, Lego and my ego. Lego and my ego. Um, and uh, right below that, they also have a Kroger breaded butterfly shrimp. You've gotten this before, and you say it's really good. Right. The kids uh, and I have had it, so uh, we really did like this one. I'm not a big shrimp fan, so I'll let you have it. Seven ninety nine for that for that box of shrimp. How much? How, how many? How big is it? This one is two pounds. Two pounds. Two pounds of shrimp for seven ninety nine. So it works out to be about eh, just about four bucks a pound. Right. Remember, it's breaded, so you are paying for the breading. Mm-hmm. And you're also eating the breading. Just keep that in mind. A couple of items I did like this week was the jumbo pineapple, and we got a couple a couple of weeks ago, and I just basically cut it up and. Honey, how was it? It was really, really good. I am a big fan of pineapple. I love pineapple, but a lot of times you get a pineapple and it's a little bit on the bitter side. These ones were really good. I like them a lot. And so we have another one to cut up and we may I may send Steve tomorrow to pick up another one. We do, what we do is when they're not ripe, we just basically leave it on the counter and let them ripen up. And when they're done, and I slice it. Yep, and a really, really good pineapple. I, I, I was very happy with you slicing that last one up. So if you've not gotten a ham, I would recommend getting a ham and put it in the fridge or freezer. Um, if you're not going to eat it right away, it is 89 cents a pound, Kroger spiral sliced ham. You do have to buy $25 worth of food to get one, but it is a decent price. What's the 79 cents right next to it? It is the Sugardale portion ham, so that must be shank or butt. Okay, so check your ham prices. If you like ham, if you want to get a ham... Um, a lot of people do ham for Christmas or New Year's. Uh, we normally do for uh, Thanksgiving. We do a turkey for Christmas. We do a ham. We did do a ham. We did a ham on our Christmas last week. And that was the Meyer ham that we got, wasn't it? Right, and it was really, really good. I liked it a lot. It was honey glazed ham. And then we normally try and do prime rib on Easter, but the prices of meat are so high. Right. You see, the prime rib also is on sale for seven ninety nine a pound. I think we looked at this, and by the time we looked at it, it was like $140. I'm like, huh. Maybe I might just do the $10 ham, which is what we do, versus $140. And, you know, I think it worked out better because I ended up having leftover ham sandwiches and ham for ham sandwiches. And we did, I think, grilled cheese sandwiches. Mm -hmm. So multiple choice, multiple uses for leftover ham. Well, here's the deal with the prime rib. When we had, because our Christmas this year, we did Christmas before Christmas because all the, all the boys were going off in different directions for Christmas this year. Um, we thought about doing prime rib, but when you've got how many people, uh, six, eight, we had 13, people. 13 people in the house, you have to get at least uh, a 10 or 12 pound prime rib or better, um, to feed that many people. And it was expensive. The ham was cheaper. Right. And so what we did was we actually did the ham just because then also the money that we saved went to presents. But you also did a charcuterie board with shrimp on it, didn't you? I did. I used the lark cooked shrimp. That's what I did. And then... For seven ninety nine pound, this is also a good price. Mm -hmm. And what I did was I actually used the shrimp as part of it. Yeah, so that really worked out really well. Um, they still have a bunch of buy. What is it? Buy one get one freeze. You you like this bread, right? This is actually new. This was not here before. This was new this week. It is the buy one get one free of equal or lesser value of the brown berry bread. And I usually do 
the oat nut or the one with lots of fiber in it. The, the multi-grain one? Multi-grain. Yeah, and see, I like the white or the buttermilk. That's what I like. But uh, again, it's buy one, get one free on that. And then you've also got below that uh, another buy one, get one free, don't you? Mm -hmm. Arm and Hammer Liquid Laundry Detergent. So... That's a buy one, get one free, again, of equal or lesser value because they also have the uh, odor blaster. What is that? Another version of that? Right. There is powder packs. Mm -hmm. There is a scented booster mm -hmm. and dryer sheets. Mm -hmm. We have to talk about soda because I have been having issues finding diet Sprite. Exactly. And from what you heard, there was a shortage of aspartame. Yes. So if you have Diet Sprite in your area, could you please put that in the comments below? We did find Diet Sprite, but we had to buy a, buy a 35 pack for an exorbitant amount of money at uh, Sam's Club. Um, and it kind of was it Sam's or Costco we bought that at? It was at Sam's Club. I think we paid sixteen eighty eight for it. Yeah, which uh, right now you look at a four uh, four twelve packs for thirteen eighty eight of Coke Seven Up and Pepsi products at Kroger. You know, you're talking a thirty five pack for. Three dollars more, almost getting a twelve pack, le or getting over a twelve pack less, for three dollars more at uh, the the warehouse clubs. I'd rather get this, but we couldn't find Diet Sprite at any of our Kroger stores, and you went to three of them. There's more on the inside of the ad, and Peg's kind of like showing the uh, video of that right now. If you want to just, you know, slow down the video just a little bit, uh, while I do this. Thanks for watching this video. We do appreciate you checking it out. As always, uh, hit that subscribe button below if you've not already done so. Also, get that bell notification button below. That'll get you notified when we put up future videos. And we'd love for you to hit the like button, too. Be safe this weekend if you're uh, in the path of this snowmageddon that's coming across the plains, upper Midwest, and on into the East Coast. Uh, again, we're under a winter storm warning starting tomorrow through Saturday. Uh, some areas just west of here are under a blizzard warning. Snow, high winds, wind chills, all nine yards. Be safe if you're going to be out and about this weekend. That's why we're staying home right now. The stores are packed at this point. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully we can save you some money at Kroger this week with digital deals and more. And have yourself a magical day.